Hello YouTube and welcome back to another episode of Tums. <laughs> well, we have bad news. I uh, did some things and some stuff happened and moral of the story. Before you quit your game, always make sure you say. <laughs> anyway, I am now on a different map. I'm no longer up in the top right corner. As you can see, that is full of water. But and these uh, frogs are eh, about the same general length away from me. But there's a lot of goodies in here. All the trees and gravel and wheat and piggies. Anyway, um, I'm no longer in the same spot. But I did get it started about to where we were last time. We've got some food and some wood. My stone's up here now. And, uh, I got my three little bases set out again. So, uh, we are going to take it away from last time. And, hit it up from there. Alright, so, we've got, you know, we've got some stone here. Let's go ahead and mine this out, just because it, uh, well, frankly, it's beneficial to me. Also, something I didn't mention last time, this is, uh, I guess just to watch what's happening with stones and who's bleeding and whatnot. Uh, because my stone's a little bit farther away, I'm gonna go ahead and make a stockpile for stone up here. And, uh, we don't really need to push just like every other one. And so they'll go and they'll grab some stone and bring it over here. And while they're doing that, as you can see, my weed has grown. Now, we still need a baker's oven to be able to make bread. But the problem is, uh, we, to be able to make bread, we have to come over here. And this left tab is for food. Now, gathering, they'll go and they'll gather trees and plants, which probably is not a good idea to do unless you have a designated area for these things, which you can make, assuming you have all the stuff to do it. Um, but uh, what you need to do is go over here, and they're not going to harvest this wheat on their own. You have to basically tell them to do it. Now, the left one is to say, do eight right now. Well, to be completely honest, I told them to do that, yes. But what I really want them to do is take that wheat, and before I do anything else, I want them to plant that wheat out there, yes. Ugh. And that's what happens when you fail at doing a command. Guess I'll tell them to do that. And so they'll take all that grass and they'll put it over there. And that'll make some more. Work. Now, we don't really want to start pumping out too much bread right now because it'll take all that that we could be uh, harvesting when it grows. And as you can see, they're all sleeping right now, so they're not going to do a freaking thing. Um, but this right one, this right tab, you can have them constantly mine however many wheat at a time. Say there was eight up, you can constantly have two people doing, or have it to where someone's mining two wheat. I don't know. It's always just nice to have one or two clipped up, just in case one grows and you don't notice. Um, it'll also tell you, like these apples, I've got six. It'll tell you how many you have laying around the world at the moment that are at your disposal. Um, you also want to go back and once you start actually getting, sorry, um, once you start actually getting some wheat, you'll need a way to make flour. Chicken bread. And that flour can be turned into bread with the baker's oven. And so you'll have to go in here and go to baking and tell them to continuously produce bread. And uh, I'm not going to do that right now, like I said, because I need the wheat to fill this up. But we'll come back to that, and I'll show you later. For now, 
since we've got apples and we've got some pears, we're going to have them, how much stone do I have? A decent amount of stone. So we're going to go ahead and, honestly, I don't know. Um, I really would like that wheat to grow, but we can only do it so fast. So let's go ahead and just add some essential stuff to our, uh, oops, to our utilities areas. Um, like I said, it's always nice to have more than one little, uh, thing out here. Uh, we do, we do need something, though. That's what I was doing. We need something to be able to make flour from the wheat. And that is a mill. Now, we want to try to keep the mill decently close to the baker shop. That way he can pump out, um, bread the mill can pump out flour, and it'll be transferred over to wherever, decently close to the oven. So we're going to put that, uh, let's just put it right here for now. And we'll probably do two or three. We don't, uh, I don't really like keeping them too terribly close together. I've made personal preference, I haven't seen anything specific. But, uh, and there's special things to these buildings. It requires three stone, wood, and a cow. So someone's going to have to go literally find a cow and put a cow in there like some rabid little gerbil. Someone died again. Um, and I'm not sure if cows respawn or what I think, because you can get a cow farm, you can have them spawn in there. Oh, they found another cow. They uh, will spawn in there and you'll have a continuous supply. But we're not going to worry about that right now. Now, something that I've not done, and what I'm actually going to do, how much uh, food do I have? I'm starting to run a little low on food. So let's go out here. And I've got some trees out here that I've checked earlier, and it doesn't seem to be... Oh, that was a really bad click. It doesn't seem like there are... Um any enemies out here. So we're going to have them go and search around, and they're going to gather flowers at the same time, because flowers are used for colors. But uh, they'll bring those back, and that way they have some food. And in the meantime, uh, in the meantime, we're going to go down here, and we're going to start to build... See, we don't have much wood. We do have some stone. So let's go over here and have them get rid of those. Uh, let's just cut that. I don't really like dealing with them. Now, there aren't any frogs or anything around here, but these plants, if you walk near them, they'll try to eat you because they're carnivorous. So we will go over here and we will uh, probably dig a ladder right here. And see, she's bleeding just from being around it. And just like last time, they'll take that wood and they'll go over here. But we need to get some walls up, because I would rather have walls up and not have to worry about being sieged. We're also eventually going to put up some personal areas. That way, whoever lives uh, in this personal area will do majority of the baking. He'll be right here. Whoever lives in this will do masonry, and so on and so forth. And that's also the only way you get new people, is by having personal areas to themselves where new people can come in and basically move into your little town. And I haven't, I'm not really sure what I've called this town. I haven't really thought of a name for it yet, but I'm sure I will at some point. Uh, as for all of this, we're going to have them come over here and we'll choose a nice little area. Uh, let's go... That way, and then, um, then have them forge out a little bit. And as you can see, they'll come down here and they'll just rush a little bit. But uh, they'll come out here and start <laughs> start mining out from under the trees. Drop that tree and drop that tree. 
And I'm not really sure how much stone is around here. Yes, see, as you can see, there's another layer under me. But we don't want to go too far down because if we do, we'll run into this. And then one layer below that is um, spider, a dungeon, basically. And uh, that's not good. We don't want to run down there without equipment. So we are going to. Ooh, awesome. So we're going to, ah, our wheat is ready. Okay, so, now that our wheat is ready, we're going to have them come over here, and it should be an 8x8 eight eight now. So, we're going to have them gather 16 uh, wheat. That way, because we know exactly how much it is. And, uh, and as you can see, they're going and putting it automatically into the did I tell them to make bread? I think I did. No. Oh. Huh. Well, okay then. An easy way to fix this is prioritize. And now, any wheat they harvest will be first priority. Now, because they were stupid and did that, what we're going to do is go over here and we need a stockpile of some kind for the flour, otherwise it's just going to sit all over the place. And we're also not having to make any bread, so let's do two bread at a time. We will put a... Uh, we'll go here, get, get that out of Go here and do containers. And you can see there's a raw one, a raw food, raw materials, and uh, prepared food. So we'll do raw food, and we'll put a couple of those over here. And uh, then we'll put a couple of prepared food right here for now, just because there's nowhere else really to put them. And uh, each one of those is going to take some wood, so they'll use quite a bit of wood doing it. 6, 12, 24. I don't even know if I have that much wood. Um, so we might have to go out and scavenge for some wood, which isn't really that big deal. But look at all those trees that are not able to be harvested because those are trees for fruit. But we can come down here and we can chop all of these. And so they'll go and they'll chop all that. And I should have some at least one. Yep, see there's one. Now, while this is fruit, they'll keep taking all that flour and putting it in there. This, we will manage container to only accept, uh, flour. And actually, to be honest, we could probably... Oh, someone died. Oh, no. Yeah, someone had to have died. I lost this one. Which is important. It doesn't say anything about oh, there. Someone died, there she died. He's gonna die if he keeps messing with that stupid plant. Someone cut that plant. That's how she died. All these dumb plants. Okay, so as you can see, people die. Then you have to go over here and just get rid of that stink cloud. Ah. Uh, you should bury them because it is respectful. But right now I'm just going to destroy them for now. Because if you bury them, there's a very high chance that they will spot ghosts. And uh, that is not good for right now because ghosts are hard to kill. Uh, so, and you see, he's eating. Um, Let's uh, have this manage and hold bread. And then they'll start taking the bread that they're not eating and putting them into the barrels. I'm not really entirely sure how much they hold, but it's decent enough now. Alright, so we've got some stone. I think we're gonna get a little bit more just for the sake of doing it. 
ask for. Alright. Um, and that mud will stay down there, I mean. So. And everyone's home. Let's see, there's one bread in here. And we've got one flower in there. And as far as they're concerned, they'll just deal with it. But what we need to do now that we've got some stone built up, is we need to get some walls. And so, uh, I didn't really make a lot of progress, I guess, with this round, or this episode. But, uh, I promise we'll get back next episode. We got some, uh, decent food storage built up, and now we can go in and have them constantly cut out at least two wheat at all times. Which they will then push into the mills, or dig with it, or whatever. And, uh, see, so they're going to do that. And I'm going to have to end the episode, but it's been a good episode. we got some decent stuff put up. Um, oh, I got these trees. we got some mills done. Next episode, we're going to focus solely on getting some walls put up and some personal spaces. That way I can uh, kind of protect these guys a little bit more. So, uh, stay tuned. And feel free to join the next episode. Thanks.